Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for you. Our competition today is EFL League 2. It's Cambridge United against Walsall. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. He's the one we're focusing on, I think with good reason. Three in his last three. The talisman for the team here, no doubt. For Cambridge United today, probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Thank you. And this is how the opposition will line up. So, Alan, 4-4-2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Kick-off here for Cambridge United. That was a foul. The referees allowed the game to go on, he's entitled to do that. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Knowles. Now O'Neill. Well, confirmation, as if it's needed, really. Everyone knows now, don't they, that the league title has been decided. The match will be played, but the big event... Davis! Oh, you can't get much closer than that without actually scoring. Oh, unlucky. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. Arneson. Houghton. Read the play well to intercept. Room now out on the wing. Opportunity to cross it now. Well, they could get the ball back here, and they have done. Walsall in excellent form. They certainly showed it in their home match, their last match against Colchester United. Yeah, nip and tuck, but they, they came out 3-2 winners, and uh, I think they could follow it up here with another win. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Alan, what sort of advice would you be giving to the players to deal with the pressure of going for a title like this? You've been a winner twice. Well, you just must take the lead here. Truly outstanding save. No wonder he's getting a standing ovation for that. Able to make the interception. Taking on the defenders. Lovely ball. Too close to the keeper in the end. He's gone too early. He's offside. Now Hardy. They are the league leaders, Alan, and they're playing like league leaders. Yeah, they are. They've got the, that swagger about them, haven't they, Martin? Um, to do some majestic stuff today. What a chance to take the lead. 
strange, really, from such a good position and such a good player because he's hit it so hard. Yeah, that's not like him at all. Don't know why he tried to finish like that. Knowles. Throw in to come. O'Neill. One or two options now in forward areas for them. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Must score! Big goal! What could be and may well be now a very big day for them. Yeah, what a fine finish. And might that be a goal that goes down in the history of this football club? Well, that has to go down to the goalkeeper. Well, goalkeepers these days, Martin, and we know they're going to be good footballers, but uh, his skills on the deck let him down there. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Walsall, number 30, Jordan Houghton. Now O'Neill. The hosts have controlled possession here so far, but I've been a bit disappointed with them so far, as we've uh, shown they've had lots of the ball, but they just haven't been inventive enough. With it, they've moved it on too slowly, made it too easy for the opposition to get back in shape. Patiently passing the ball around, trying to... A real opening for him. He's in the clear. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save confidently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. And Smith. Well read at a key time for the team here. Oh, how exciting is this for them? Still got games. Time now for the second half to start. in trouble but he got it absolutely right how great chance the last line of defense but how strong he was well the player that we're featuring here has done well he's certainly been an influence on this first half well he played really well didn't he and he got himself a goal to put his team ahead he'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes trying too hard really and losing the ball because of it here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width will be there for us. Well, this is interesting whether the manager is just going to switch things around a little bit Knowles Room for the cross. What an important interception that was. Just a moment to remind you, if you need reminding, they will be champions if it stays like this. And they're heading in the right direction. They're doing everything right, playing pretty well. Lewis. Looking for a through ball. He's going to try his luck. And now they're two up with another... Fine piece of attacking play, typical really of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on the training ground. The manager's got terrific belief in attacking football and he must be thrilled. 
probably beyond even his wildest dreams. They attack, they score, they attack, they score. That's the kind of team they are. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. He's got possession back for his team. He's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of anticipation. And that's a turnover in play. That's a great interception. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. O'Neill. Knowles. Smith. This is a message for Andy Topham. That's Andy Topham. Can you please return to your vehicle? I feel surprised the visitors with less possession here, but they won't mind that one bit because they've got their noses in front and uh, it's been a brilliant performance so far. I'm sure the manager on the sideline will be absolutely delighted. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. And now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Well, they're having to defend, aren't they? So he's come deep and he's got hold of the ball and they can build off him. Space for the shot! He's made the save. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Well, the clock's showing uh, nine minutes left to play. These fans can't believe what they've seen from their team, but still time to get something from this match. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Lewis. O'Neill. Could get a goal back here. Good stop by the goalkeeper. And it's going to be his throw here. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Well, look at the room in which to attack. Could whip it in from here. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Good interception. O'Neill really wanted to put his laces through it, but couldn't direct it. Well, he had one or two options left and right there. What a great feeling for these players. All the graft over the season has ended in total success. They are the champions. Yeah, relief as much as excitement. And they have been the most consistent side. You can't say they don't deserve these scenes, this joy that they're feeling out there. And they'll get the trophy at their last home game.